What's up guys, I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Today we're gonna to give you guys a closer look on how to adjust your power valve on your KTM Gas Gas or Husqvarna two-stroke dirt bike. Now it's simple to do, but before I show you how to do that, I wanna give you a brief theory on this stuff just so you understand what we're doing. So the whole point of having a power valve is to give you more usable power throughout the RPM range. So at lower RPMs, there's a little flap inside the exhaust port. It helps close it off just a little bit. That's better for bottom end torque. And that valve opens up as RPM creases. That way you have more flow at higher RPM, giving you more power. So how that works is it's connected to the bottom end through some linkage and there's actually two adjustments we can make externally. So on the carbureted models, they actually come with an auxiliary spring or two auxiliary springs that you can swap out. The stock one is gonna be a yellow spring. It's good for all around riding. If you're doing motocross or want a more aggressive feel, you can go to the red spring. And if you want a more mellow feel or linear power, you can install a green spring. Those springs, they just control how quickly the power valve opens once it actually starts to open. Now with the TPI bikes, keep in mind, they don't come with the optional springs and you just have this Robertson head adjuster. Now what this adjuster does is it controls when the power valve actually starts to open. So the spring is once the valve is actually opening, how quick it goes, this is what RPM the valve actually starts to open. With this, you need a special adjuster. This is a Robertson head adjuster and we're using our Tusk power valve adjusting tool to move that. You only go in eighth inch increments at a time, either clockwise or counterclockwise. And clockwise is gonna mellow things out. So if you want more bottom end torque, maybe you need some traction or you're doing tight technical trails, that's when you're gonna to wanna to turn this clockwise. If you're doing more aggressive riding, maybe motocross, you're out in the desert, or you want a harder hitting feel, what you're gonna to wanna to do is turn this counterclockwise an eighth of a turn. Just go a little bit at a time and find out what feels best for you and the conditions you're on. Now, Kraft Moto is actually making a power dial 3.0. This thing's awesome because it actually takes place of that Robertson head adjuster and then you can adjust it on the fly. So this thing's super awesome if that's the way you wanna go, but this Tusk one, this thing's under 10 bucks and an easy way to do it. Now for our bike, we're gonna be doing some tight technical riding. So we're gonna turn this adjuster clockwise, but I wanna mark where we're at right now, just with the Sharpie, just in case we don't like it, we can go back to where we started. Now to get this adjuster in there, I did have to loosen up the skid plate, so you might have to do that. And when you turn this, keep in mind that you are gonna feel some of that spring tension so you're gonna to have to apply a little bit of pressure. So we're just going about right there, about an eighth of a turn. And we're gonna go see how that feels. And again, we can simply go back to where we started or try going the other way. And if you ever get confused, your owner's manual or service manual is gonna give you a spec on how to reset this to the stock position. So on the TPI bikes, usually that's gonna be a depth measurement right here. And on the carbureted bikes, you're gonna remove a cover on the side of the cylinder and you're gonna check at what RPM that power valve starts to open. Now, one thing I wanna point out is, as you can see, KTM only recommends using the stock settings for these, but just like anything else on your bike, how you set this up is totally up to you and your riding preferences. And that's all there is to changing the external power valve adjustment on your KTM Husqvarna or Gas Gas two-stroke dirt bike. It's really simple to do. And if you need one of the tools to get that done, they're available on our website. Again, we have several different options. So go check that out. And if you wanna see more helpful content like this, subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.